Hey guys, it's your boy Fiskon here, and today we are going to cover all the basics on rock mining so you can get straight into it. Stay tuned, because the entry cost to rock mining is so low that there is no reason not to try it. Getting right into it, we need to understand exactly what we need to mine with a rock in the first place. The tools you will need and their approximate prices are as follows. The Pembroke armor and helmet costing roughly 8,000 AUEC at a refinery station. The rock, aka remote ore collector, costing 1,796 AUEC a day to rent. And lastly, a transport ship. If you do not have one, I would recommend the Cuddy costing 14,450 AUEC a day to rent. The total upfront investment for this is roughly 24,246 AUEC and the daily investment is 16,246 AUEC if you are renting both a rock and a cutty. We will be able to maintain these costs well into the future with a max hadonite run bringing in approximately 220,000 AUEC. The reason the cost is so low is because we will be acquiring all our rentals and equipment from our local refinery station. These stations sell everything half off. We acquired the Pembroke armor because we will mine Hadonite on Aberdeen and the temperatures are extremely high and the rock does not protect you from the heat, thus the need for the Pembroke armor. The first thing we need to do is pull out our rental or your own personal transport ship and load up our rock. To do this, we are going to travel to Aberdeen and stop at one of the outposts, either HDMS Anderson or Norgard. Both of these locations will not only allow us to spawn our rock, but additionally allow us to sell our Hadonite killing two birds with one hat a night. I mean stone. Sorry, I won't do it again. As you can see though, the temperatures here on Aberdeen are too hot for us to withstand with a regular suit. As such, we can switch over to the Pembroke armor now. Now that we have a location to load our rock on Aberdeen, let's find some hat night to mine. To do this, we're gonna to need to utilize the scan function on our ships. All ships are able to scan for ore. To engage scan from your standard view, just press the tab key. Once in scan mode, mouse wheel forward to either 4 times or 8x and mouse wheel backwards to reverse this. By increasing to 4 times or 8 times, we shrink how large our scan will be, but make it harder for enemies to locate us based on our pings. Next, we will look for large blocks formed along the planet. Our primary target is a diamond shaped ore, but we won't know for sure until we are close, as you can see here. You will see two types of icons. First will be diamonds, which is what we are searching for, and then rocks, which are mined by larger ships like prospectors and moles. You can see both on screen. At this point, we're going to hold left click to scan the item and ensure that it is indeed Hadonite, the ore we are looking for, and it is, which is perfect. Once you've pulled out the rock, go ahead and hit the M key to activate the mining mode. You can right click between extraction and mining. Once you're in mining, target the rock you want to mine. It will scan the rock and give you the information. On the right side, you have four components, composition, mass, instability, and resistance. Composition will tell you what ore and its contents you are looking at. Mass will give you a number you can use to estimate how much ore you will receive. And instability is a value that directly affects how large the fluctuations that may occur while feeding energy into your ore. The higher this value is, the worse the fluctuations are and the faster you'll need to react. Lastly, on the right side, we have resistance. This tells you how much energy you'll probably need to crack the rock. On the left side, we have our cargo indicator. Now this one is a bit glitchy in 3.12, often lagging behind or not updating at all. All right, once you've cracked the rock, you can go ahead and right click to enter extraction mode and then left click to engage it. It sometimes does take a few seconds to pick things up though. Keep that in mind. All right, we're now at the last part of this video and that is the selling portion. I tend to sell my stuff on the same planet I mine it so I can go straight back out there. Now keep in mind, we, uh, we mine two rocks, that's it those two rocks I showed you just now. You're gonna look for the storage building next to the landing pad. Then when you enter it, you're gonna find the trade console inside. Once inside, activate the trading and shipping console. Hit the sell button. On the left side, activate the drop down. Select your rock. Select Hadonite. 
then move the sell bar all the way to the right and sell the Hatonite you worked hard for. In this case, we smashed two rocks and it gave us 79 Hatonite, which sold for 20,000, which is almost the initial cost. That did cover the rental cost though, keep that in mind. All right guys, that's all I have for you. If this helped, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.